All right, what's up? We are live, Snuffing Torches, season 46 of Survivor, episode 4 recap. I think we're live everywhere right now. We should be on Rumble, should be on YouTube. We had a little bit of technical difficulties, but uh, I think we are okay right now. Um, you got myself, Nate, John Rich, um, Clemmer couldn't be on tonight. Um, oh, wait. Some someone I'm playing myself somewhere. All right, I figured that would happen, but okay, at least we know it's working now. What happened? Um, okay, so yeah, uh, our first live episode of the season for Snuff and Torches. Apologize for missing the last two weeks. We were, uh, or I was storm chasing around uh, around America, but uh, we're back. We'll be live every episode the rest of the season. Make sure you subscribe, follow all that good stuff. Um, first, before we get into tonight, I know John Rich, you caught up on all the episodes today I, I caught up this weekend nate's been watching live uh where do we where do we stand so far on this season going into tonight john rich honestly i think I, I like it more now i like it more now than i have for whatever reason i'm not really sure why but i don't know i just watched maybe because i just watched like three episodes in a row but like they're conditioning you. They're telling you this is what you like. But it's been, like, it's been like hilariously bad enough that like I'm I'm kind of into it. Like overall, like I was locked in on Banu, man. What a guy. Uh, I I, I told John Rich today. I thought episode two. It was also two hours. The first hour was terrible. It was just all sob stories. The second hour had strategy and actual survivor gameplay. So I liked the second hour of episode two. Episode three last week was it, it was 90% of the show. I, I should have gone back and clocked it. I want to say it was probably 80 to 90% was Banu crying and nothing else. And, and I don't even think I'm exaggerating when I say that it could have hit the 80 to 90% mark. And then nobody goes home at tribal, which I also hate. I think if your team loses the immunity challenge, you go to tribal no matter if someone on another team is medically taken out, that should have no yeah, bearing that's... on the team losing. Uh, I strongly I believe that. Strongly, strongly believe that. Especially and tonight, what? Especially, I was say, especially nowadays when it's 26 days anyway, like I feel like that's almost a gift. Like, all right, you're getting rid of people quicker. And, and but like the show, you know, immunity challenge, you, you have to win or you lose a play. Like it, it, it's, it's one of the 10 commandments of survivor. In my opinion is you have to win or you lose a player. I just hate when you know this dude has like a pinched nerve. Oh, wow. 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 We've seen people play with a lot worse. I don't get me started on that. And he leaves. And so it just saves another tribe that has nothing to do with the pinched nerve. I hate that way of thinking from Jeff Probst. And then tonight, obviously, it, I mean, this show is struggling. I, I, I was, I was going to pose this question. If the last three seasons of Survivor were like the first three seasons of a show, it would never see another season. People would be like, "What yeah. is this garbage on my television?" But I'm kind of with John Rich. It, I like. I'm kind of into it. I, I don't. I'm, so, I, I'm still sort of into it, Nate. I don't hate this season as much as previous seasons. I think. Yeah. Between the terrible editing and the Banu sobbing for two straight episodes, there are good players and interesting characters. Yeah, there's some good uh, people. I'm, I'm, I'm just curious. mad at how they're highlighting them. I'm mad yeah. that they're focusing on the well, crybaby yeah. and not the entertaining good players. So we've talked about before, and I do like, like, I don't think you can have 18 strategy game bot super fans every season. Like, you need some like bad players or you know people that don't sure. totally get survivor i think that was kind of the beauty of early season survivors there are a lot of people that didn't know that they didn't know the game that well and give you you know the people banu like could have worked like so in that sense a banu can work the issue was like it became too much sobbing and victim and what was me and like I, I mean even like tonight at tribal council like his story, like, obviously is an emotional one. It's inspiring for whatever, the poverty in India and everything. But it's like when you hear these fucking stories every f five times every week, they start to lose their meaning a little bit. Like uh, when all you're hearing is sob stories agree. every week, like it's like, all right, yeah, this person had a bad thing too. This person had a bad thing too. I mean, in I th I do think that the Banu arc can now maybe be, it'll maybe be, be able to look to back on with a little bit of a, 
of a better lens now that we know he's gone. Like I was like the the fact that he was still in and there was a part of me that was like, oh my God, we're going to just listen to this guy fucking cry the whole season. Like the fact that it was just a four episode arc makes it not as bad. But yeah, I mean, it was, it's like, I don't get what, what did Jeff and the editors expect the reaction America to, to think? Right. Like yeah. did he think that people were going to be like, oh man, we love Banu. Like he's winning a million hearts. We're rallying behind Banu. <laughs> Or was he like, everybody's going to be clowning this guy? And I was looking on Survivor Twitter because I know sometimes Survivor Twitter can be fucking pussies, but they were, they all hate Banu too. Like, he, hate this him. guy is the most universally hated contestant. I'll tell you what, he deserves it. I don't want to hear that he's, oh, a nice guy. Be, he's got a stupid be kind shirt on. This guy's a bad person. He's got this victim <laughs> mentality, like, woe is me, blaming others for his own shortcomings, taking zero personal accountability. Banu was a bad person. And I want to keep hating him in real life. I want to follow his life, his career post Survivor around, and I want to still keep hating him because it was fueling me. And I'm still a little bit woke on the idea that I think there's a chance uh, that he is just like was a paid act. So he has an IMDb. <laughs> He's been in TV shows and movies before. He's probably just like in reality a shit actor. But the like I would respect it so much if he went in this being like I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna like you know play this character up bro i i i i do think there's a chance that he was playing like a uh, andy kaufman character like how can like i'm gonna check off every box of how to play the worst possible survivor game and see if anybody picks up on it but i you would have to be a creative genius to do that and unfortunately i just don't think he is i i agree with what you said like when they're editing two straight episodes about this guy crying are they looking at each other in, in the producer's room like, America's going to love this guy? Like, the story yeah. we're building for him, he's going to win the million hearts. Like, how out of touch is Jeff and the rest of the team that they think we want to spend two straight episodes with this guy crying? And I don't – this might be a hot take, but I think people might agree with me. He should have been kicked off the show. When he said out loud, I'm not here to win. I'm here to win a million hearts. I'm not here to win a million dollars. I'm here because that's like, you're not allowed to split the money. You shouldn't be able to say, I'm not here to win. That just, to me, that disqualifies you from being on Survivor. And the fact that they even fucking casted this guy who on day three, this was last week, on day three said that out loud, he should have been gone. It should have been like, get this guy the fuck off. But what percentage of people, like, do you think, are we just not the target audience for Survivor anymore? Because part of me thinks that there's a big group of people out there who no. actually kind of do love Bonnie. There's no way. Not on Twitter. Bonnie, there's no way people like Bonnie. Old, you don't I, think old people like Bonnie? No. It's too much. They hit you yeah, over the head with not, it too but... hard. Like, I get what you're saying. It's just, it was, it was two straight episodes of it. Like, people yeah. like to, it's just, it, it was too heavy handed. I, I I can't imagine people you know who carve out their their time to sit down and watch this show tonight being like again like why are we doing this again? Yeah, it, it's it was tough to watch, and it sucks because I do think there are, and we'll get into it. Like obviously we're going to uh, trash Banu because he he has been the story of the season. He deserves all the trashing, and it's like sometimes I do feel bad. It's like you know these people they signed up for reality TV show they don't like. We can't judge them off this because even at Barstool, it's like, you know, obviously, you know, it's like same thing where it's like, all right, people are judging us. You don't even fucking know us. So there's part of me. It's like, all right, you don't we don't know Banu. But then it's like, you know, what? I think I know Banu. This guy's a piece of shit. <laughs> you want to want him to be here. He's an IT professional in Boston, Massachusetts. So like, what is can, he? We, what I track him down? I was going to say, what's it like when he walks into work tomorrow? Like, are they like, Banu, you did so well. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure yeah, God, like, this is he when might he might crush it. He might be an awesome IT professional. <laughs> a lot of telling people to turn it on and turn, turn he's, it off. He's probably just a numbers guy. I, I do think, you know, we're seeing 30 minutes out of, you know, the entire 20, they're filming 24 hours a day on the island. He made it six days. They have to craft a story. I, I can't imagine he was crying the entire time, but they also really didn't do anything to, to show that he was more well-rounded than just, I mean, he didn't know he was playing a game. He didn't want to play a game. I, it, 
I just think it's bad casting. Honestly, like I don't like I, I don't care, but the fact you're calling him like a bad person is just he should have never been on TV to begin with. Like he it, it's just a miscast. It, we're talking about him. I get it. Like maybe this is what they want, but we're saying how just like dreadful it is to watch. I I, I don't know. I, I just don't get what Jeff Probst is doing. I think I think there was a chance where the Banu casting works. Like I, I do think there's a chance where it's like, you know, this guy is an idiot, but he's like got good spirits and it it becomes like an endearing thing, but it just did not work out. And the way they edited him didn't work. And, you know, just focusing on all his crying and everything, like they they did him no favors to make him win a single heart. And I mean, exactly. tonight, let, let's look at what he did tonight. I mean, he started off telling his tribe, yeah, I, I went on the island. I told everybody about everything. Q and Tiff are close. Kenzie's a threat. Then, you know, he's awful in the uh, challenge. He's off on the challenge. You can't uh, rebound a buoy. He's getting coached up by Q. Like, just Wait, hold on. Crazy. In the challenge, he skipped. I I, I didn't understand what <laughs> he Jeff skipped did. The he whole skipped thing. the crate. What, what did he have to do? I, he had to I, climb the crate. He didn't climb the crate. He just decided to not do it. Okay. In the water. Okay. Yeah, in the okay. water. Got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he skipped um, half of a challenge. Got it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, skipped half a challenge. Getting coached up by Q on just how to have a conversation with another human being. And then <laughs> after that, he was like, all right, Kenzie, like, let's play the game. Can we play the game or you're Jeff Probst? And she's like, no, fucking Bono, I don't want to play the <laughs> fucking game. And he, like, walks off and pouts. Of, uh, and then later in the episode, he's he screams at God. He's mad at God. He he's... collapses to the ground. He's literally on his knees begging Tiff, looking for an idol that doesn't exist. Cries at Tribal. There's no even vote. So, And that's one episode of Bono. The worst could be the worst start to finish episode anyone's ever had. I, I, worse than Zel- Jelinski? <laughs> it might be. How did I was going to say, I was going to give Bonnie credit. He played a better game than Jelinski. They but... didn't even have to vote. That's how bad he was. I, Tommy, I, I, I can't allow Jelinski. you, as much as this hurts me, to, gl- to, to, to just brush over. He was on his knees, a grown man, <laughs> crying and begging, please help me find an idol. And she's like, Get off your knees. This is pathetic, dude. Like yeah. it, it it was it was sad to like I I don't even know how to explain. I, I, I wouldn't have been shocked if they took that part out because it was like so pathetic. Like you can't do that to a grown man. He's on an island, maybe he's malnourished, like they, they don't drink or eat a lot. Like no human being should have acted like that. I I'm his existence befuddles me. It like, was I, I think he's top five worst players. And I, again, there might have been worse players. They just kept putting him on TV. And that's where I think Jeff Probst is either like the biggest asshole in the fucking world to do that to a guy or so clueless about what people want to see. And there's no in between. I, I actually think he's the worst player of all time. <laughs> like, I, I'm not kidding. I think he like I've never seen someone with the worst social game or just an understanding of like what you he had to be coached on how to talk to jeff probes nobody's ever had that before the, they go don't tell him everything <laughs> See, i really think he might be the worst player in the history of survivor he wasn't there to play though tommy that's what you're missing he was there to win hearts yeah and he didn't win a single heart no he does def- I, I think, think i think he might be an so asshole he I might be like a- i'm gonna make a fool out of this guy i think there's a bond new demographic out there I really don't think so. I think it's someone, maybe old ladies, maybe old white ladies. I think they would hate him more than anyone. <sighs> yeah, you're probably right. <laughs> I'll I'll do some searching on Twitter after this to find there's like, there's team Bonnie's out there fan, fan page. I'm I I don't think there's many, but there's definitely like three Bonnie fans. I found his LinkedIn as well. So okay. yeah, you want to follow him maybe ruin his life then <laughs> no i don't want to ruin his life just, his, his just life is all, i do feel like a little bit bad of how how shitty his life is going to be for the next couple, <laughs> so couple weeks but whatever he deserves it he deserves it. we'll go back to acting um <laughs> try to think other stuff from tonight um, do you want to start from the beginning yeah uh yeah i mean i wrote down some stuff i think you know if we kind of go by uh maybe we go by tribes might be easiest uh, if we if we look at the orange tribe uh with the nami tribe i actually thought they were going to go to tribal based on the way things yeah. were set up where tevin and soda who have been close 
Tevin was like, you know what? I actually kind of think that so does the threat. She's talking to a lot of people one on one. Uh, so he started to rally uh, Hunter and Liz and was like, I think we should actually get out soda first in front of um, uh, instead of Venus. What's your overall take on on this try? I mean, the challenge Hunter was unbelievable. He he seems like just an incredible player. Uh, what what is your take? We haven't spent too much time with them. We probably spent the least time with this tribe of all three. Uh, yeah. But what is your overall vibe on on the players of this tribe? Yeah, I I I think this is a good, almost like old school throwback survivor tribe. Besides Liz, who actually doesn't suck too badly. Um, Tevin, she, I think is great. She's, she's pretty. Great on, what's that? Liz is awful. She's Pretty one of the bad. like most insufferable humans. I've just honestly talking about how much money she remember has. Remember the website? Oh, that was Liz. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I get her and the other one confused. I'm sorry. It's my face blindness. Mariah is uh, not too bad. She's yeah, that's not who as I was, bad. They're similar. That's who I was thinking. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, Tevin, I think is great. I think he's a great presence on TV. I think he's good at Survivor. I think he has a strong understanding of everything going on. Uh, Venus, I think is super hot, and I hate that they hate her only because she's hot i think that's discrimination um soda she's she we, there's a soda like you see someone like soda who has like a good understanding but she doesn't seem like an elite player but there's something to her well, she's got um, an awful social game i mean when she's stealing yeah like she doesn't have all the pieces like but she yeah. she's there's always a role player like soda in every season and hunter's a fucking killer dude like He's not annoying. He's good at everything. Maybe too good, but it might not matter because this cast is so brain dead on the other tribes that he might be able to like just get away with being awesome. Uh, I like him a lot. He doesn't talk. He just wins challenges, builds shelters. Like he's just a man's man. I he he's I I love him. I think he's great. Uh, he was getting was, a little like, annoyed with like all the singing that Soda and Seven were doing. <laughs> yeah, the cl- Venus just like fake sweeping when everybody's singing Kumbaya yeah. behind her. Like she's just so like doesn't. She, I hate that shit too. And I I thought that was a great scene when she pretended to sweep instead of singing Kumbaya. Yeah, Hunter shooting underhand was shocking in the challenge i thought that was hilarious that he was nailing them grant style three for three three for was it really three for three or they just yes. edited it that way i couldn't uh, decide it seems like it might have i mean you saw it Kevin like, be like once hunter gets the balls in his hand it's over yeah it might have been edited that way but whatever it was it was clearly quick and impressive he's an anomaly soda is the like like she's kind of nice i kind of appreciate the effort like singing songs at camp to be perfectly honest like it's probably is she nice she, she's stealing the idol from venus when it gets handed to her oh, she was man. shit talking q in the purple tribe at the last try at the last challenge she like I, I think she's kind of a bitch i'll say it wow All right, that's probably fair i would just be annoyed as fuck by again I, I couldn't do the songs either be too much yeah she seems to have a, a bad social game i think she'll She's not long for this game. Uh, I like I like Tevin. Um, Venus, like we said, it's kind of funny that she just has a target on her back because she's hot. And they're like, oh, she must be poverty. We can't trust her. Then who's, oh, Liz is insufferable. But there's some, I think Tevin and Hunter are the ones to watch on that track. Hunter might be too good. I think Tevin, he's good at Survivor, good social. I, I think he has a good chance of winning. I, I, from what we've seen of him, I would he would be the best winner of the last what five six seasons. Probably. I mean, it's early, but I just like I like the cut. It, oh, I'm not gonna get ahead of myself. Coj's, but spoiler. Uh, Green Tribe Sega again. I mean, like it's been so dominated by the purple tribe, and and this is kind of an issue I think with new Survivor is. I feel like we talked about this maybe a couple weeks ago is there always seems to be one bad tribe. That's just really bad. And they kind of dominate it. And I think it's because of like the whole thing of where they withhold Flint and they withhold materials from them, where if you lose the first challenge or the first challenge or two, it just snowballs where you're not getting fire. You're not getting fed. Like it, I, I think that, I think they should rethink that. I think they should rethink the whole, like, we're withholding the resources. I don't really give a fuck about that. And, like, Not it's just giving an unfair... It's putting one tribe, it seems like, every uh, year at a really unfair spot. That That's interesting, because the reason they did it is obviously because they shortened it from 39. So, like, he wanted to make it harder. I I never really considered 
just letting them have it or not. Like as I, 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 I like punt. If you're going to do three tribes, I understand punishing the third place tribe. Maybe you're just saying like, let them keep the Flint and lose. Yeah, just like give them Flint at least. I don't know. Just, yeah. in, in general, like, whether or not this probably sounds stupid, but like in general, whether or not the people are like hungry or full, like I don't really give a shit. Same. What I'm watching. Like I, I don't really care about that part of the game. I'm full watching, so I don't <laughs> empathize with them whatsoever. Like it just, I'm just like that part of the game like misses me kind of. Like I don't really think about it. I, I agree. I do think that seeing people like you know hungry and tired, like it does okay. add a little bit of that human element where it makes it a little bit more interesting, but. I do agree for the most part. Like, I think I think the three of us, I think most people who are still watching Survivor, like, we're not watching Survivor for the survival, like, because it's a survival show. We're watching no, it it's the game for the reality show. Like, I feel like when Survivor yeah. first came out, it was like, oh, this is like a survival show. How will people survive? Dude, I now, mean, like, it's a strategic reality show. John Rich, I know you didn't watch, like, season one, like, brand new Survivor. It was the biggest story on the news. It led the nightly news that they were <laughs> hunting rats on the island with sticks. Like, it was the biggest story in the world that these people and Sur- – like, Survivor was such a, you know, a mega show. People couldn't believe that they were eating rats. It was on the cover of magazines. Like, it was massive. Like, I can't believe they have to eat rats, like, on Survivor. Crazy. Now – I mean, you don't even get like fishing montages anymore, you know, like you don't get yeah. you don't really get any of yeah. them hunting and gathering besides coconuts. I feel it's it's yeah, it's kind of lost that edge to it that I like. Um, Because so yeah, I think there is a way to make it a survival show. They just they they do the sob stories instead now. I, I don't know. I feel like they can't be like as aggressive as they used to be either. Like they probably have like stricter fucking rules they have to follow. So it's just not like. They don't really like have the, the ability to make it crazy. It's like the that. same location over and over, so there's yeah. less like new land. How do you survive on this new land? Dude, we yeah. need new locations so bad. Yeah. Keep you know, like okay, here's a question. I'll pose a question. You can make one change. You have to choose like old school casting, better casting, or new location. Casting, but casting. Casting. it has to be casting, right? Easy. Easy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But I do think locations would help, but I we'll just watch people cry, you know. In different, I'd rather, yeah, like I don't need to watch people cry. I, yeah. watch people I, I, I can't stress enough how much different locations like kind of like drew me in when I was watching it all for the first time. I thought it, like they used to go to like the villages and meet the locals, like it, like the locations. Became yeah, that was always a sick episode. Always a what? Sick episode. Like I love that episode when they yeah. would go. Like yeah, it, so it made the show to me. Like it, the the location became a character, and they were really really good at it too. Like really good at it. Now it's it might as well be on a soundstage in L.A. for all I care. There's no yeah. There's no character to it. It's yeah. also like it might be the casting, but it also makes it very hard to differentiate seasons in my head. Like yeah. I used to be able to always be like, oh yeah, season sixteen, then season eighteen, like. Now, like, if you name me a player from the last six seasons, I would have a hard time saying, you know, there's some somewhere I'd be a hard time being like, oh, that was 43 or was that 44? Yeah. Like, they all jumbled together. And because we used to refer to the seasons as the location. Now it's just 43, 44, 45, 46. Right. And it does not help that they copy and paste the same people from season to season where it's, yeah. we, I, like, literally, we, we, down to like the nationalities they just copy and paste copy and paste it's <laughs> oh i'm getting angry again whatever <laughs> uh let's talk about the green tribe sega tribe so the big story there today was so gem last episode i think it was uh found the beware advantage uh she then re-hit it the whole tribe was looking for it they're digging through the ants uh Nobody can find it, and they're like, which I liked. It was a good point where they're like, Jeff doesn't lie to you. Like, Jeff, he might make things difficult, but he's not going to outright lie. So they're like, something's yeah. going on. Maybe somebody found and rehit it. I actually thought it was a kind of a risky move by Jim. Like, I don't think I would rehide it there because, like, really, how is it helping you to have yeah, your tribe? What is she gain from that? Right. Like, how, what are you gaining from that? The, the, what would, I guess it did end up working. Well, looks like it might end up working. Is that it? Then painted a target on other people. I think people said Ben and Tim. They were like, "Oh, Ben and Tim might have found it." So I guess that's what she gained. She did it pretty well. 
Yeah, and I guess you know she's also not the first person you would expect to to find it and to like pull something like that. She seems just kind of like a quiet, innocent girl. But yeah, I to me that's like a risky move to to rehide and just make your tribe go crazy. Look, I'm glad that you said that. I was wondering, was it to like just lead people on a wild goose chase, like just to waste their time? Like, I don't, I don't know. Think she I, thought I, about it. I think she just she, thought it would be like a strategic move to hide it again without like thinking about like what it would actually mean. What but she did it out please. well. Like she kind of like she pinned it on somebody else, and now that's good. So like it worked. So that's possible. I can't tell her it yeah. was dumb. It but I will cool. say, if you look at the scenes for next week, it looks like that comes back up, and she maybe is is ah. more in the hot seat. So I, I don't know. I just don't know if I like. I don't know if I like that move. Hmm. Interesting. It looked like me. She pulled it off, but yeah, I maybe didn't see those scenes from next week. But you're right. When she did it, I didn't know what she would have had to gain from it. Um, Mariah on that tribe not being able to jump jump was <laughs> bizarre. I liked how she, she was self aware about it. At least she was like, "By the way, guys, like there's just zero chance in the world I can jump. Like I need some kind of lesson." And they're like, "What?" And she's like, "I fucking told you. Like I literally can't jump." <laughs> Like even the slightest. So bit. strange. I, I wish was... it would have mattered more. It didn't really matter because they were just running off a of pier. When, but like, if they had like did... reach and grab something, like if there was something that she had to actually jump for. When she did the confessional, she's sitting in the dirt. She's like, "My friends asked me if I'm going to tell people that I don't know how to jump, <laughs> and I just <laughs> sat up on my couch. I'm like, you don't know how to what? And, uh, she like, doesn't she know how to just take her legs off the yeah. ground. I've never heard of that in my life." Like she's like, I can't jump, and she doesn't everybody jump. knows it about uh, who who can't eat coconut. Liz, Liz, it, that was oh yeah, duh, it's yeah. dummy Liz. Who goes on Survivor and can't eat coconut? Has she not eaten this whole time? I was shocked that she wasn't allergic to fish somehow when she I started think talking. She said about she it. was in the in the pilot or pilot in the not fish. She was happy for the fish. I think she said she doesn't like salmon. <laughs> Something. I wrote it down. <laughs> Liz is like, I mean, like Liz is like the joking, like the uh, is almost like a parody of like what we talk about the new C new school survivor cast. Yeah. Like she is it like to a T, almost where it's like beyond belief. It's like how the fuck does this person exist? Uh, uh so overall thoughts. Uh, any thoughts on this tribe? Charlie and Maria seem to they have don't show a, a, them tight duo yeah i was gonna say we we haven't seen a lot i think maria has potential tim and ben we, i feel like we've barely seen really mariah I, can't jump gem has kind of been <laughs> maybe the most in the mix um yeah tell me, but I, tell I me do... one thing about tim i i don't think i know a single thing about him he's pretty athletic pretty good at shooting stuff that's about all i got on him yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I i can't remember any yeah like have have they showed him outside of a challenge? His, I think the first episode he had a confessional or two, and I remember thinking, "Oh, this guy seems like he has potential." And then I don't think we've seen him since. Which, like, though, is because you know they haven't been to try. I think that's another issue with having a bad tribe be so weak and pathetic is that they dominate the screen time so much that you don't get to know the other players. I do yeah. really like the rest of the purple tribe, though. Yeah, me too. The three that are left. They're great. Yeah, let, let, let's talk about them that, a little bit. Uh, I, Q is has the potential to be one of my favorite Survivor players in a long time. Great. I love Q. I, he's got a great personality. He's extremely likable. He's good at challenges. And his social game is unbelievable. La last week when he, he put it very well, it's something I've always thought, but he articulated it well where he was like, there's liabilities and there's assets and there's threats. And it's like, I do agree for the most part that I would rather keep a liability around than a threat. Um, I think Bonnie was a bad example of yeah. that because he is such a liability. That, like, <laughs> it was too much. It's almost threatening what a liability he is. <laughs> uh, but I do agree with the, yeah, like you can take a weaker player and make him an asset if, if you become a number. So I do appreciate how much effort he put into trying to make Bonnie a usable functioning member of society but he did eventually realize like this is beyond my control but i think he's a really good player and i think tiff too and, and kenzie but q really stands out we're like i really like this guy bro q's like mr don't give up on anything we don't quit my whole life is a grind blah 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 
10 minutes with Banu. He's like, I'm out. Like, I give up <laughs> on this guy. He is uncoachable, unhelpable. Like, I, <laughs> I, I agree with you. Q, I'm a super fan. Q, super fan. Nate, uh, I, I, I love everything about his gameplay, his social game. Obviously, he's a physical threat. Hopefully, doesn't come back to bite him in the ass. It's not like he's like hiding how good he is. Like everybody knows that he's likable, athletic, he's strong, etc. He's gonna be an early target at the merge. You've got to. I just I hope he's so yeah. good socially that people want him around. Yeah, but he's already got. It didn't help him that Banu painted the target on his back by being like, "Oh yeah, him and him and uh, Tiff are tight, and they're you know good at the Bro, game." I don't think that'll matter. Do you think, at yeah, the merge, they take Banu seriously at all? Like, exactly. At the merge, they'll like just say how stupid Bonnie was. Yeah. Like, they'll like, know. I'm sure they know how insanely dumb he is based on however little time they just spent. It's a fair point. I, I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. What is, what is your guys' take on Kenzie? I can't really get a read on her. There's times where I think, oh, she's smart. She's a good player. And then there's other times where it's like, eh, something, something's not right there. I like her. I don't have any problems with her. I, I guess I kind of know what you mean. Some of the stuff that Q said about her. Or just like I maybe forget. the way she was handling Bonnie, which like I get it. You're tired on island. You have the most annoying. I thought she handled Bonnie fine. Yeah, but th there's just been a few moments of Kenzie where it's like, uh, maybe she's not as good as I thought. I don't know. I can't can't put my finger on it. I think they're all three like very fucking good. Like would be like three of like the better players regardless in the whole game. And like you – do you think, like, I was saying before they lost the challenge, they should have just just thrown the challenge, right? No. Like, I kind of like they're, they're so out. low on numbers where, like, you got to try to Yeah, keep. but they're going to split up the tribes now, right? Like, other shit's going to happen. They yeah, they probably. needed the flint. They they just they needed flint so bad they couldn't. They had yeah, but they're going to get to a new tribe now. They're going to get to a different tribe. Like, they're done with that. Is that now? Like, I don't know. I'm just I don't guessing. So. I really don't know. But I feel like, don't you think so? Or maybe I'm wrong. I mean, it wasn't I, I, in the previews. And also, I feel like they haven't been doing the tribe swap. Like, that, that's that been kind of the go thing. down to, like, two? I mean, they might now have a good shot to win a challenge. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, like, uh, half I, the field you... has to sit out the challenge because only three can play for each team. Yeah. yeah. Damn. I just I, feel like I'm just surprised they would, like, not switch it up that time. I agree with you about Kenzie. I, I think she has a strong survivor mind. I think I know what you're saying. I can't put my finger on it either. Like that thing that's like off and not like it might be her social game, maybe. I don't know. It, it maybe she just like comes on strong when you're like, oh, you're coming on too strong for survivor, but she's always seems to be in the right about what she's saying. Uh yeah. I don't blame her for blowing up at Banu. I six days with that guy would be more than enough to set somebody off. I thought she handled it well. Um. Yeah, I, I, she's someone to keep an eye on. She's interesting. I, I don't know. I, more to come from her. I thought, uh, Tiff did a good job. Where like, she handled it well. Like, I think maybe a better example than how, um, uh, what's her name? Kenzie. Kenzie did. Where like, uh, when when Bonnie, uh, Bonnie was a guy blew up the whole game to everyone. Like, she like handled it well to his face and ripped him apart in a confessional, you know, like showed like the patience there. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I think the first thing that happens at emerge is they immediately be like, boy, that like that Banu guy, <laughs> yeah. you guys have no idea. And they'll just right. all laugh about it and then kind of just move on. I'm sure they've uh, seen enough of him to like, know he's crazy. Just his existence, like his aura yeah. on the Island. They're like, something's up. But, like, they don't even know the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can imagine. Yeah. That's all that matters. Um, What else we got? Anything else? Any other notes you guys had in the episode? Uh, I, you, As far as sob stories go, Tevin's was touching. I, I, I did not, yeah. you know, the fishing thing. I thought that was cool. Um, Yeah, I, I, I he, he's so likable. Like, you know, we, we always like say sob stories, you know, too many of them on the show. I like the way they did his. I like the way he handled his. You no, know, he didn't break down sobbing, blah, 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 blah. He like he's he's 24. He might be the most mature person on that island. Like I I, I like everything about what they've shown with him. So far. it also like wasn't forced. It was like, here's a topic of fishing. Here's yeah. an emotional story related to fishing. It wasn't just randomly like my husband's pregnant <laughs> like out of nowhere or whatever like it was like a clear like that was one season, I mean, what 
Ricard had a pregnant husband, I'm pretty sure, in season 41 or something like that. Uh, but, like, you know, it was, uh, yeah, I appreciated that one, too. I thought that was fine. Trying to think what else. Um, you think? I think the yellow, I know we talked about the yellow trap already. They, they like, really hate each other, I think. Like, I think they could blow up, like, pretty quick. Like, Hunter definitely doesn't like soda. Like, they're all starting to hate soda. Liz is also on there, and I think they, like, hate Liz. Like they're they're winning. They, they kind of don't like each other. Yeah, they're winning. Well, they hate Venus. I like they. And, yeah, yeah, I think they're <laughs> Venus. Yeah, they're all just like hate each other. Yeah, but as long as you're winning, you tolerate it. So I know. Yeah. I'm just saying they got like a chance to blow up. I feel like. Well, I don't what's think interesting the- for Merge is yeah, you might be like come Merge time. Venus has already said she she's wants nothing to do with this tribe come Merge time, which isn't usually a way to victory when you have all the numbers on your tribe right. like they lost the guy to the medevac but uh you know they haven't had to vote anybody out but if she has no nobody on her current tribe like she she'll be toast i actually think huh. it she- has become like it's almost a disadvantage to have the tribe with the most people at the merge because then the other two just naturally kind of team up together against you like there is an advantage to going into the tribe, going into the merge with the least, the least members, because then you're kind of like free agents, getting absorbed into numbers. Yeah, yeah. Or just team up with the other team and take over. Right. Yeah. Um. That. What did you guys think of no of there not being a vote? I didn't really <laughs> care. Was, like, I, ridiculous. I, like I was, it's crazy they didn't still do it. Yeah, but it was I so I I briefly before we started I, I saw like uh the Dalton Ross post article with Jeff. I saw something that he said he wouldn't re- he doesn't regret or doesn't regret casting Banu at all. And then also something to the uh, along the lines of like, you know, an opportunity to do a little something different. It was like it was such a boring vote and like such a obvious thing where it was like it was like all right, just do a little something different. I don't I didn't really can't it was so obvious he was going home and like it almost like i almost like that he didn't even get the dignity of Tommy, <laughs> haven't they like so when brandon hans they you know they kicked him off they at the challenge jeff said who votes for brandon and they all said i do i do i do i do yeah and they've done that at tribal and i can't remember for who but they've at least gone around the circle and been like yes jeff we're voting him off they he just Jeff said bring me your torch like they didn't even yeah it did feel name. like a, it felt like an abrupt like jump cut in the edit like I almost thought like I missed something I was like I did too yeah like it, it was weird like I w- I'm okay with the no vote but I think it should have been a little bit more clear where it should have been like yeah like you said Jeff being like so just to be clear Kenzie right. Q Tiff you guys are voting for Banu and he's like yeah. I can't remember anybody not getting a vote who didn't quit. They acted like he quit, and maybe he did. I don't know, but like no, he didn't quit. What are you talking? Maybe about? they edited around it. Like I don't know. It was it, not to have anybody say we're voting for him is is weird to me. I they probably talked at that tribal for like thirty minutes and had to cut it down to like two. I bet Bonnie sat there and they they probably had a giant conversation where they multiple- every tribal is. Usually like forty five right. minutes to an hour. But like that one was probably such a shit show. Like they, yeah. I'm sure they said that he, they were voting him. Yeah, that one I bet was like pretty quick. You yeah, think? I would have liked to see it. If not anything for just for continuity, just like hey, we're we like to see votes. Like let them. Honestly, you know what? We're being too nice. Fuck that. Like every season, even if you know the person's getting voted off, they walk. Write down the name, Jeff. Cal- it's just what you do on Survivor. Yeah. I don't know. Like, I, I will say the only thing that may have made this a little different is that Banu didn't even have a vote. So, like, that does, you know, maybe that is a little bit of a factor, too, is, like, the guy. <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, I, I think they should just have a vote. But, like, I, I don't. I, don't, I was just so glad to see Banu go that I was like, I don't care how they got it. Uh, allow for the 1% chance of a blind side, you know? I don't. It, that's what's weird to me. Jeff can't. Jeff does not inside their heads. Like maybe they had this whole thing. Kind of is like they they know where everyone's going based on. I I know I'm playing heavy devil's advocate. I just think you should vote. If a guy's not quitting vote, you vote someone out on survivor. You lose a challenge. You go to, uh, to tribal, you write somebody's name down. That's survivor. Yeah. I don't disagree. Um, 
Any other takes where we do some maybe some jib cuts? Ooh. We do some jib cuts. Uh, I'll, I'll give a take. Now, like with these bad players getting vote, like the Jess and uh, Jezelneck, whatever his name was, Jelinski. Jelinski. He, and now Bonnie, like those were the worst players and they're gone. We will start hopefully to see the good players, the, the strong strategic players. So I'm excited for that. Yeah. I also think there, there's a lot of pretty decent players in this, honestly. Like, yeah, I agree. I, yeah, I feel like I haven't been nearly as disappointed in this. I feel like I expected to be. Well, it's just that the early episodes have been yeah, so they, focused on all the losers that, but it does. There, I mean, everybody on purple, I think, has potential. Oh, Tevin, Hunter, um, Jem, uh, Charlie and Maria, Mara, or like Mara, whatever. Like, there's, there's definitely people that I think are going to be good. Yeah. Did oh, I have a question for you guys. Places. What? Oh, I like froze, and then I came back, and I'm like in a new place. No, oh. I think we're you're okay on my end. Okay. Was, no, I'm gonna say I watched. Uh, this is loosely related to Survivor, not about this episode, but um, I watched a different reality show. Uh, this House of Villains thing that had. Johnny Fairplay on him. Do people like him? Um, they did at the time. Like, I, mean, I don't know about like. Like, he was like, he was really the first, one of the first ever reality TV show villains, like the dead grandma okay. lie. Do you know about that? Yeah, I know about that. So at the time, I think he almost became like a cult, like a villain of like, okay. but I don't think people were like, you know rooting for him as much as they were like appreciating him as a villain maybe he is the biggest pussy in the world like one of like my least favorite people i've ever watched on reality tv just pathetic everything about him was pathetic like he, it, it was sad to watch him play this reality show he quit a uh, a season he returned yeah he, he quit fans versus favorites he just cries like every episode i don't know if he cried on survivor dude just cries he definitely yeah. didn't cry that first season uh pearl Island. Uh, he was, he was very emotional when he came back, and then he quit. I, but I think he was like having a baby. I can't remember. Yeah, something like that. Uh, um, anyway, there was a time saying, where Johnny Fairplay was a legendary villain. Probably not, not as much anymore. He's washed up. He doesn't got it anymore. I'm reporting that. First reported by John. Yeah, doesn't got it. Um, did, did, wait, did you just watch the show on Peacock? I can't think of the name. Traders. Story was on it. Traders. No, so but I, I kind of want to. I've heard a lot of good things. Yeah, I will. Yeah. And people, I, to everybody who tells us to watch Survivor Australia, I promise I will. Like, everybody says yeah, to watch no, Survivor Australia. Australia. It's all I see, but it's also like, like, I don't like when people like stop complaining about Survivor, just go watch Survivor Australia. Like, no, I want the fucking American version of Survivor to be good. I don't want to just give up and go watch people. And I don't like accents. And also, it's impossible to fucking find. <laughs> Time out. What, what do you have against Australian accents? It's just I don't want you know. Oh, I don't kind of the worst. Just what? D- just drop it and talk normal. And then it's also <laughs> like they're so hard to find too. I don't know. Like I have to watch on my laptop. So my preference yeah. would be for this survivor to just be better. Yeah. Someone sent me I, a Facebook link once to one. I was like, I'm not gonna watch it on Facebook. I'm sorry. Like, I I'm gonna watch it. People like every tweet we get is like just watch AU. Just watch AU. It's like, yeah, it's like I don't hmm. want to. <laughs> I'm, I'm yeah. gonna it, it'll feed the beast that I'm we need not. i'm also like i'm honestly not like i know people like traders like i'm not really a, a reality tv show person i'm just just survivor like i it's it, the only reality tv show i've ever like consistently watched um so it's not like i don't know if i would love eh, all the other ones like it just at yeah. this point like survivor just so baked into my life yeah. um but like i'm not looking to to add a bunch more to my arsenal that's fair uh, all right, jib cuts of the week. Mm. Uh, Nate, whose jib did you like the cut of this week? I who did I just say? I can't even remember. Kevin, no, but yeah, I like Kevin. But who did I like the cut of their jib though? Um, I'm trying to look at <clears throat> you. Go first, John Rich. I like Tiffany, like, honestly, out of that tribe, like, she's like arguably better than the other two. Like, yeah, she's she's very good. All three of them, I actually, I like that whole tribe a lot now that Banu's gone. But I don't know, Tiffany, she's like the most level-headed, good at competitions. Like, she's maybe my favorite right now. 
She's good. She doesn't like seem like she's that dominant, but she's like pretty fucking smart and was like good in all these challenges. Like she's very good. Uh, I mine was Hunter. Uh just because he I think he's just such a breath of fresh air. I almost feel like bad for him because he from what we've seen, he's not like electric. He doesn't, you know, he's not sobbing, he's not crazy, he's just mild mannered, keeps to himself, does the work, wins the challenges. And it, it, every time he's on TV, he's just like stacking wins. So for for y- y- we need more guys like maybe I get it, like he doesn't have like a huge personality, but he's a good like he's like kind of like a throwback. And I think if he makes it deep, we'll see more of him and we'll be like, oh, this guy fucking rocks. So uh my jib cut goes to Hunter McKnight. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna take the easy one. I'm just gonna stick with Q. I just really like Q. It's just nice to have like someone I'm rooting for. Like I feel like in the new era, I I, I was rooting hard for Jesse that one season. I thought he was a great player. Uh like I feel like that is a fun part of Survivor is having somebody you're rooting for. I feel like I haven't had a lot of that recently. I feel yeah. like I'm rooting for Q. Uh, I'll give one more uh, from the Green Tribe. Ben Katzman, the musician who we saw in the first episode, really and haven't seen since. Uh, I just, I just, I just <laughs> right. he's out there. Like I know he's on the island, so <laughs> just good for you, man. Getting <laughs> just, just being there, and we know. I mean, that Green Tribe what 6% we've seen, like, Nothing. like if we sliced a hundred percent into who we've yeah. seen green tribe, 6%, it, it's kind of bizarre how little we've seen of them. Like, I know that like all they do is just like win, but give us something. They have to be doing something at their beach. Like give us something. Then let's wrap up with a winner, a winner pick. And we, or not, it's not like we can't repeat this shit, but just a winner pick and someone who's got a 0.0. zero. I'll, winner pick. I think I like, Tiffany is a winner pick right now, to be honest. Like, I, I do think John Rich, you hit on a lot of points. I think she's smart. She's like under the radar enough right now where it's yeah. not like an, like Q is getting so much of an edit where it feels like maybe it'd be peaking too soon to win. I feel like she's in that sweet spot. And then 0.0 Liz. I mean, Liz has literally no chance of winning. <laughs> John? Um, I like Tiffany for all the reasons I kind of gave that in my chip cup, but I think Jim who is also kind of fits that like, she's not as, she's not even as, she's not as good of a player as Tiffany, but that in this day of survivor might even work better that she's right. like a little bit worse. So like she's right in that like area, what I always try to shoot for, which like, it doesn't seem like they should win. Just like unassuming, decently smart. She's kind of person who wins survivor. And zero. And zero, I forgot about zero. I don't want to say Liz, she does have zero, but um, yeah, it's like a free space. Maybe Maria, I'm not that impressed with her anymore. Oh, I disagree. I think she's a good uh, player. I don't know. I, I don't think there's many. There's nobody that really, I guess, Soda. I'm sorry, I, I forgot about Soda. Yeah, Soda has no chance. That's the one, Nate. I, I'll just continue. Uh, I'll go with uh, Tevin as the winner pick. I like, I have no reason not to, um, zero, you know, Liz, obviously zero weirdly like Venus, like her edit makes you feel like yeah, she's got, I don't think she just has no chance at all. Um, I, I would say the two of them weirdly, uh, I John, like what you said about Kenzie is like, I don't even know how to explain it. It's like, She's good enough to win, but like I just I just don't think she will because there's just something not all there. I don't know, but yeah, I would say Tevin winner. Uh, obviously, Liz zero. Venus looks more and more like a zero. Um. All right, that's it. Good to be back live. You guys got anything else? I think I'm good. <laughs> is it is it ninety minutes for the rest of the? Uh, yeah, I mean, there might be another two hour, but they're at a minimum night, which like. That's to be honest, fine. I'd be fine going back to an hour. Like, I know we're like, oh, more. But, like, when it's well, just more sob stories and more crying, like, you can keep it to an hour. I kind of wish, yeah. wish they could they could go back to an hour and just eliminate the reward challenge, for all I'm concerned. Really? Just get that much more, like, gameplay in there. Oh, I reward, love... Rewards don't do a lot for me either. I kind of agree. Like, I don't care about rewards. Unless anymore. it's, like, a three random people well, split off. That's, like, kind of good because there's gameplay in that. 
but like a lot of reward challenges is like the one today did nothing for me. I I like them. I like them in the past when it was like, oh, they'd go on a helicopter ride or something like I do think it's a good breakup to the episode as opposed to people just talking and stuff. But yeah, like I don't care that people are getting fish, really. Uh, yeah. yeah, I like when they have ice cream, like you can win an ice cream bar or like, you know, you when yeah. you go watch Jack and Jill, the movie like uh, there. I like when they do standalone reward challenges that are, again, a lot were location based, like when they really had something to do with the whole theme of the season. Now the reward challenges, John, you're right. Like, it's like, I don't care that they're eating a fish. Like yeah, that doesn't feel add that. to the show. Yeah. Yeah. So. All right. That's it. We'll be back next week. Live, follow, subscribe everywhere. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, goodbye to Banu, the worst player in the history of Survivor.